Big idea number five, there are group aware tools. Let's look at a course site from the instructor role. Spanish 105 has multiple sections. There's a single course with one course coordinator, lots of sections, all with different faculty members teaching those sections. We can see on the uh, course menu that there's sections as an item. And when we go there, the sections are automatically populated from the SIS or student information system. If we go to calendar, we can add an event and we can display that to selected groups or the selected sections. So awareness then has to do with sections that are automatically populated from SIS or groups manually created. In the next example, we'll look at a project site from the organizer role and from participant roles. Let's create a group. We're going into site info, manage groups, create new group. We're going to give it a name, pharmacy, and we're going to use this group for uh, assigning people on our team to pharmacy projects. So all of the people need to be enrolled in your site before you can create a group, and then you just add the people who should be in the group. Click Add, and there you can see the pharmacy group exists. Now we're going to create a folder in Resources by Create Folders and give it a name and only the pharmacy group is going to be able to see this folder and upload to it etc. So we click display this folder and its contents to selected groups We pick pharmacy and create it and there you can see the pharmacy folder exists. We can do the same thing create a forum just for the pharmacy group so we click on forums insert new give it a name pharmacy and this is going to be used for our, our project discussions and it's going to be uh, allow access to selected groups only and we'll select pharmacy. Once we click update you can see the pharmacy forum exists and when we refresh the discussions page we can see the pharmacy forum. And we can do the same thing with announcements. Uh, give it a title, let people know that there's a workspace for them, maybe uh, write some notes in there about what they need to do, then again display this announcement to selected groups, pick pharmacy, and of course you always have the option of pushing email to all participants in that group or none. We're selecting none because we use the site. Okay, and there you can see the announcement shows up on the home page. And similarly, we can do this with a calendar event. We can create a project review meeting, maybe in the middle of next month, and give them information, set times, location, and again display to selected groups. So we pick pharmacy and then we save it. So now we're going to log into the site as a site member. I'm a member who's not in a group and I don't see any forums and I only see the root folder and resources. So now let's log in as a member of the pharmacy team. I can see the pharmacy announcement. When I go into resources, I can see pharmacy. Um, if I go into the calendar, I should be able to see the event that we put for the review meeting. And there it is on the 15th. And then finally, there's my discussion forum just for the pharmacy team. And so there you have it, Group Aware Tools. So in summary, you get a consistency of content across sections and group. It streamlines your communications. It provides a co consistent interface for all your users. And that's our last big idea. The five of them are My Workspace, Tools, Permissions, Public versus Private, and Group Aware Tools.